jail. There's no Bible at all. And cushion become a highest point in China right now. And you know what happened? I lose my point. <laughs> Sometimes my grandma is not good. Sometimes my point is. But anyway, I remember that. So they have all this sharing to pray. I know this meeting tonight. They have spent hours, hours to prepare. Without my awareness, without my Vancouver friends' awareness, and the Jesus Lola doesn't even know we are coming. Finally, they call. Everybody in my church who come from China, Hong Kong, Taiwan, please come forward. Do you know how many people show up? 20. Among 3,000 people, only 20 people there. And we are six of them. I mean, eight of them. Yes. You know what happened? What I'm feeling? Jin Sen Mala didn't write a letter to all the Chinese church. Tonight, our church, big church, church of prayer, gonna pray for you guys, Chinese. Why don't you send your pastor? Why don't you send your people come to our church? Join the prayer meeting. Pray for your people. No. As far as I know, only one Chinese Christian know that night is going to pray for China. But she didn't go. 3,000 people, they don't know any memory. Maybe don't care. Pastor spent whole night on talking about China and in now two hours we pray for China. In the meantime, only 20 people there might understand what he's sharing. Because this church has kingdom mind. Because this church, many pastors, some leaders, hear from God. Pray for China one Tuesday night. Amen? They are selfish, pray for all people. And the pastor makes us ironically say, pray for Mercedes, that's good, but pray for China, even more important. They are challenging these people, say, do you believe? Here we pray, God will answer. China is going to change right now. So, he invites us to come to pray, and also ask us to cry out. For some reason, I feel like a whole... Tonight is totally phenomenal, but I, I didn't finish it. You know, when I pray, everybody prays, there's 20 people, there's a Chinese people, about, I think it's about eight girls, and they pray. I, I pray, this, this side, join the Vancouver people. When I pray, you know, when Pastor pray, I really pray, right? So, Pastor Jin said about Solvi, and come to me and say, Brother, what kind of dialects do you speak? I said, Mandarin Taiwanese. He said, if I give a microphone later, can you pray loud? In men, four point to I say yes. So later on, he bring the mic to me. When we pray, he have a, this area pray for China. Five hundred million people never heard about Jesus. This area pray for the more Bible, more missionary go to China. This area pray for the government finally will honor Jesus. And this area pray for the mission, China was the biggest mission country. Everybody stand up like this sound in a song. Like this. It's like a big flood water here and there, here and there. And Tio Pastor give me a microphone. I pray in Mandarin. I hear they are even more excited. Not because they understand me. Just like they don't understand me. And they think that's a Chinese. So everybody pray even louder like a thunder for me. After that meeting, of course, at that time when I pray, my wife and the Vancouver friends, just just like by inspired by Holy Spirit, just put their hands up behind me. So when I pray Mandarin, you know, my foot is like shaky, like this, <laughs> shivering. I almost fall down. I feel like whole my body something like a current is going. I feel like the Holy Spirit is so strong on me. After this meeting, I was digesting what is really happened to me. 
What does it mean to me? What does it mean to you? What does it mean to our church? Somehow in my heart, God talked to me and said, David, don't take this lightly. Don't do whatever you're supposed to do tomorrow like this never happened. Brother, sister, many brothers and sisters go to church. Somehow we already lose excitement. We're going to have to have God talk to me today. God talk to me today. Speak to me somehow. Let me know what is the purpose. What do you want me to do? What's your will upon me? When we lose our essence, we are doing the ritual. <coughs> you can watch TV during service. <coughs> you can even sleep on the bed during service. You don't need to come to His presence. I'm not saying you stay in your bed, God won't be there. I'm saying when we come every Sunday, have you ever think about, as this Christian, is that really you, God? No. I ask you, you need to pray for me not only my sermon today, is please pray for this person. If I'm in this church as a pastor, and if your pastor experience like this, you are involved. Maybe God will tell me one day do something. You would think totally crazy. Which he might. Maybe he won't. And don't be surprised because God will speak to me and you. <laughs>